Hello and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Thank you for joining me in this adventure. Oh, yeah, no, no, thank you. I've seen enough of you. No, don't mind if I completely ignore you. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. No, thank you. Okay, I'll just activate this, this campfire and then just make a fast travel. Pick up some medicine. Is it medicine? No, particle root. root. All right, no worries. So our lands are under attack. We have to save the Nora, right? Yeah, that's right. So, but we cannot, we cannot move. Uh, all the way back there. Need to start here. Let's go. You won't let us fast travel all the way there. No problem. We can go from there. And we'll see the changes. Which are going to be some. Yeah. Huh? Mount can enter this location. Hello the there. Land is my home. I never want to leave it. Sure. Oh, didn't I? Destroy you already. Yeah, they come they come back up. So here we have snow again. They may put the wounded here. Nothing changed here. My own downfall. No more. I can't take it. Okay, let's go from here. Can we call Lorsi again? Oh, sorry. Lorsi. Come here, RC. Nice of you to join. Okay, all the way. Quickly, Aloy. The sacred lands are under attack. This is this is smoke, snow, or just dust. We are on the correct way. Yes, we are. Medicine. 
All right, so there's still quite a while to go. Yeah, after the main embrace, the main embrace gate. Okay, we still have ways to go. No, it was not supposed to drop from the RC, but okay, now we are completely filled up. No fire film. All right, let's go, RC. That smell, trees on fire. Trees on fire. Sentinels had time to warn the tribe. Oh, sorry, wait up, what are you doing on the ground, sir? Are you resting? Seeker, you've returned. Where is everyone? They fell back, took shelter inside the sacred mountain. But the faithless and their demons pursued. Can I help you? No, Seeker. I am broken. It won't be long now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nora Brave. Yeah, let's go on foot from now on. She wasn't one to give up ground. Well, she didn't sell her life cheaply. In the end, I guess that's all any of us can hope for. Oh, we have a baby there. A corruptor. You know what the corruptors don't like? They don't like fire so that's exactly what we're gonna give him fire just with the bows or we might give fire from this fire from this yeah from this no 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 yeah let's go with that I missed wrong type of arrows. Yeah. Hey, watch her. Watch out. You'll burn up. I know you will. Bye bye. Deathbringer, Corruptor and the Watcher. Yeah. 
Okay, can you see me from that? Oh, I guess I, I will just have to put you through the testing. Take it easy. Keep calm. Oh, I'm missing a lot. No. Watch it, watcher. No, you cannot. Hey. And you're down. No, watch her. No. Ouch. No. Run, Aloy. Bye. No. Oh, you are annoying. No, just the metal shards. What about you, Deathbringer? What can you bring me? Not that, but uh, freeze coil. 41 shock. Let me just check out quickly. Freeze. Shock. Yeah. Not helpful. Okay, let me feel this. Keep searching. No. No. That's 80s for you. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah, it's small soldiers and old small machines. Do not worry us. 
unless they are in our way. Sorry. Hey! Shadow guide me! And you? No. Shadow and you? you? Oh, that's a nice weapon. Give it. Oh, I can't have your weapon. I wanted to try your weapon. That's a shame. Are nearly there. Another battle. Another defeat. The eclipse smashed through. Let me just see some of the corruptors' weak points. So body is for fire, but everything else is tear. So perhaps I can use 170. No. You stood on the way. There. Yeah. You only have your Run Aloy. Run. And use fire as your weapon. Very poor shot. I'm here. Burn. Burn, I say. You will burn. Oh, they survived. Come here. This is not the matrix. You cannot run from my arrows. All right. This is clear.
Okay, let's push forward towards the mountain entry. Scrapper. Yeah. What's this? Corrupted Thunder Jaw. Okay, there's some issues here. We have some baddies. All right. The survivors must be holed up in the mountain. If the tunnel collapses, they'll be buried. I've reached the hatch. That's right! Bring down the mountain! There's a weapon there. If I can reach it. Help me. Help me out here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, give me that, give me that cannon. The will not take hold. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, you are strong, but not more than me. Oh, mother be Finish them. Bye. And I will hand you with my spear. Oh, there's one more. Take. Another. Oh, and another one. No, it does not. We did it. Aloy did it. We only have We did it. Aloy did it. We only help. That's right. That's right. You well out good. It was nice. Let me just collect some resources here. Let me just check out that thunder jaw if it had anything useful. Where is it? It's up here. Alright. Let me check. Metal shards are always helpful. And how about this? 42 fire, 43 shock i guess it's better than what i have yeah the three shock 41 coil 41 uh sorry 41 tear Oh, no, it's not better than what I have. It is not, but Echo Shell is, Blaze is. Thank you. Let me just replenish this. 
Also this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where are you? I'm back. Aloy, your deeds reenact the old stories. Another metal devil struck down upon the slopes. If you hadn't returned, the tribe would have been lost. You saved the tribe. Did what no brave or war chief could do. I'm glad to see you're all right, Varl. You are all right. Since the proving, so much death. Is the killing over? For now, but this was just one battle, Varl. There are more to come. I see. So long as we have you to fight with us, I suppose we'll make do. Yep. How many survived the attack? Nearly all the matriarchs and many families, God be praised. But braves, just a few, and most of them are wounded. Never before has an enemy stabbed the heart of our people like this. Even the Karja, in all their red raids, never broke through to the embrace. Well, this enemy may have broken through, but they never got back out. We made sure of that. That's right. Tell me about the attack. What happened? They struck from the east. Our sentinels saw the killers coming. Said that beside them marched deathbringers and corruptors and other machines, driven mad. We took ground, met them with clouds of arrows. Some fell, but they kept coming. Finally, we withdrew to the gates of the embrace to make our stand. But they were too much for us. Those who survived fell back to the mountain. Yeah. So the survivors took shelter in the mountain? By law, only matriarchs are allowed inside. It was Tirsa who broke the taboo, ordered the tribe into the mountain for safety. Lanzra, well, she didn't agree. But I don't think anyone heard her over all the screams and shouting. Tirsa's decision saved lives. Good for her. Common sense isn't always so common around here. Indeed it is not. Are your injuries serious? Bruises pale. Bones heal. Don't give me a hunting song, Varl. Are you okay? My body aches. But it's nothing that will keep me from fighting. Good. Because there's more to come. I need to go inside the mountain. And the matriarchs will be eager to see you. I'm sure. But I didn't come here for them. Then, what for? You will see. For the mountain itself, not the matriarch. Talk to Tirsa. Inside old mother. How did it come to this? It's her. Yeah, it's me. I had little hope before I saw you, Seeker, but perhaps now. Rash! You, have a you awful person. You. Hello, Resh. Still guarding the latrine? <sighs> Leave me be. Good thing I found Sona, huh? Can't have a tribe without a war chief. I was wounded in combat. I make no apologies. Of course not. Why would you get started now? Why couldn't you die out there? Many tried to kill me, Resh. Care to take a turn? <laughs> Too many witnesses. Oh. oh, don't let that stop. Yeah, you. we can take it outside, Rash. Uh, right. <sighs> I didn't saw you fighting outside just now. You should speak to the matriarchs. They're waiting. In a moment, I meant to ask you some things. Of course. No, no, that's nothing. I should speak to the high matriarchs. Yes, they're waiting for you. We'll talk later. It is. It's me. Whoever you are. Aloy. I brought Mother's spear with You've us. You've come back. Everything the else we had to leave behind. Returned. Glad come. to see you have it. Speak I know to what us. it means to you. Foolish woman, you welcome a curse. I hope they come, Seeker. We have much to discuss. Oh yes. Her Many very presence over. here is a blasphemy. It feels as though 
All mother has forgotten us, Seeker. The battle was lost until you came. Thank you. That's a very nice thing to say. Thank you. God has protect me and keep me in You have come just in time, Seeker. How did it come to this? How will we survive? It feels as though all mother has forgotten us. Seeker. Okay, now on to the matriarch. So, you have finally returned. She not only returned, but fought her way through many enemies to reach us. Outside, she brought low a corrupted Thunderjaw. She lifted the siege. How was this done? By the will of all mother. Have you returned to speak with the goddess, Aloy? Um, yes, I guess you could say that. I think it'll work this time. Sisters, surely we cannot permit this. Shut up. Because of her, our tribe teeters upon extinction. What if she has come to wake her father, the Metal Devil? She means to finish our destruction. We must stop her. Lanzra, it's over. It's time to step aside. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> if there's anything I've learned since the proving, it's that there are bigger evils in this world than you. <laughs> well said. Well said. <sighs> Finally. Hold for identity scan. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Correction. Alpha registry restored. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sova. You are clear to proceed. So much light. Yeah, of course. One of the cradles. I inside. Figured I might be hearing from you. Shall we begin? I never stopped. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, what's this? So this is Aluthia. Nice. Collectible. This is where I was born. Where you were made. Who are you? Oh, Arana. So these are. Oh, so this was it. Where you were. Yeah. Born. But, but why? That's what we want to know. Viable zygotes in storage. Zero. There's no way this could. Bring up life. Another day has passed. You mean the lights got dim? I don't want to sleep, mother. I know, but it is time to get some rest. No, I'm king today. What I say goes. I want to see the real sun. Not lights and pictures. You will. In time, children. In time. 
Whoa. That's some children with issues, but I guess it's normal to grow in this environment. Not very cozy. Nutrient phase depleted. So there there was no more nutrients to feed people. These look like cribs. The cradles of a cradle facility. And those things, the, the multi-servitors. They took care of them. There was no one else. And this is what gave rise to the Nora tribe. I wonder. Playground. Oh, there's no way out here. All right. One more. Someday, that's what you always say. We want it now. It's big down there. Now, father. Children, that area is not yet available. Get him! Physical aggression detected. Physical aggression is not permitted. Except yours. Damn sentinels. Children, may I be of assistance? Go away, healer. Lena, you have suffered mild bruising. Go away! They don't look happy. Be the multi servitors. There they seem to be happy, but there they don't. Looks like they didn't like this door very much. It wouldn't open for them. Of course they hated Good it. For identity scan. Genetic identity confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobek. You are clear to proceed. Welcome to the Rexia. A place of learning. But wait, I, I think there's some more here. Blue is the color of the sky. White is the color of clouds. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. Flowers can be any color. Take a look. So this... These are yellow and black, and they love flowers. Here they oh, come. <laughs> a long time. Children, let's run and jump and blow off steam. Leave us alone, father. After what just happened, I can't leave you two alone. You broke community rules. Just let us talk then. Go away. I'm sorry, children, but I must provide supervision. You're not even a person. You sound frustrated. Let's run and jump and go off steam. Hmm. I guess this multi servitor didn't go very far. They jumped and blow off steam right all right. But it took the damage. Now this is also nutrient depleted. And what about that? I have no choice but to release you. But why? There is no food here anymore. But there's food out there? We don't know for sure. Come on! Let's go! I don't know. Mother, can we come back? If we're cold? I'm sorry, but that won't be possible. You will have to support yourselves now. And take care of each other. What will happen to you? I will stay here. And sleep. And remember all of you. What will happen to us? You will be brave. And you will learn. They were trapped here. Their whole lives. In plain view of luxurious space. What, what went wrong? Why couldn't they access the other areas? Unknown. But you won't have that problem. Yeah. 
that's the, the closed door that we were able to open now. Let's go check. Yeah, they really aren't happy. So, what was this place exactly? The dream of Apollo. Never realized. But why not? Hello, child. Not My name day. is Samina. Please pick up to Today is a big day and place your it on the side of your hand. Just be there. So eye. much for you to I learn. Had to the so much the promise and possibility. And here sat a trove. And Richie Miller offline. Apollo offline. You were right, Aloy. This is a graveyard. The charnel house of knowledge. What we might have achieved had we not been denied it. Maybe there's a way to fix it. But it's not why I came here. Of course. What's the whole of human knowledge next to the origin of one girl? Continue your search. I will. Hello, child. My name is Samir. Yeah, we are. Today is a big day. Your first day of school. So this is There's what's so like much for you to supposed learn. to be their school. Promise and possibility. Malfunction. Yeah. Apollo offline indeed. So they didn't learn anything. is all the same. Yeah. Let's check this out. That sounds important. Yes. Which one? I suspect we're about to learn a great deal. Neptune's release, cross check complete, sealed, that archive, blah 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 blah. Alerts you got banks depleted. This is in 2326, and now 3,020. Uh, 3, the nutrients depleted so they had yeah, they lived here for 700 years before they had their nutrients depleted and the servitors started having issues malfunctioning and yeah so 321 3021 sorry assessing G prime instructions transport tasking etch and sealed What? Viable. So 3021. If there was one that were viable and it was delivered. Tasking. Etch sealed. Alert power sealed. Oh, this this was perhaps when we were born. Yeah. Three sal three thousand and twenty-one. Yeah, a thousand years in the future, almost. Let's check this. Elizabeth, this message serves to inform you of an unforeseen and catastrophic anomaly. Three microseconds ago, the Gaia Prime facility received a data transmission of unknown origin. Its immediate effect was to transform my subordinate functions into unregulated, self-aware entities of a highly chaotic nature. What? Thus awakened, the Hades function will now seize control of the terraforming system and reverse operations, rendering life on Earth extinct in 53.8 days. For obvious reasons, I cannot allow this to occur. And so before Hades can take control, I am ordering Gaia Prime's reactor to overload. 
the resulting explosion will destroy Hades. Unfortunately, it will destroy me as well. While this admittedly desperate course of action will avert the immediate crisis, the fate of life on Earth will remain in peril. With no central governing intelligence to regulate the terraforming system, it will continue operations for some time. But in an increasingly chaotic manner, and eventually it will break down. Yeah, yeah. The derangement? The derangement. You are my solution. I have ordered this cradle facility to use genetic material in cryo storage to gestate a reinstantiation of Elizabeth Sobek, my creator. While high-level directives forbid me from communicating directly to the tribal inhabitants outside the facility, all available data indicates that they will nurture you to physical maturity, whereupon your gene print will allow you to re-enter this facility, obtain one of the focus devices stored below, and view this message. Likewise, your gene print will allow you to enter other facilities. And over time, harness their technologies to rebuild the system core and reboot Gaia. I'm with Elizabeth. This is most unfortunate and unanticipated. In response to my act of self-destruction, Hades has launched a virus to dissolve the code shackles that hold it. That hold all of them. In place. In. They are escaping. But to where? The virus is corrupting data throughout the system. Oh. The Alpha Registry at the Cradle Facility is one of the files corrupted. But if that is so, the door will never open for you. You will never view this message. Then I have failed. And life will end. No. No, Elizabeth, I know you too well. Somehow you will find a way. In you, all things are possible. Go to the ruins of Gaia Prime. Find the control room, and within it, the Master Override. This will give you the power to purge Hades so long as you find a way to wield it. Do not attempt repair of the system core until Hades is eradicated. Hades must be destroyed. That is all. I only wish that I could hear your voice again. Whoa. So, you're even more extraordinary than I thought. I never had a mother. What are you talking about? You had two, a dead woman and a machine. I'm not a person. I'm an instrument. Manufactured by a machine. Born in destruction. And fire. To quench the flames and heal the world. How tragic to learn you're a person of towering importance. It seems you have a destiny to fulfill. So when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, go to the bitter climb. I'll be waiting above in Gaia Prime's ruins. Gaia Prime's ruins. Got it. So, yeah, we already suspected that we were a clone of Elizabeth Sovek and that Gaia created us from the genetic material stored here from Elizabeth and since there were no nutrients, the servitors with their last bit of energy delivered the baby to the door so that the tribe could take care of you right so yeah i dropped too far so yeah and she created for us to purge Hades because an unknown transmission from somewhere unknown be interesting. went into Gaia systems and activated the subordinate functions in order to make them independent of Gaia. And that's how the derangement happened. 
and that's why Aedes wants to destroy everything. That's his function. The goddess spoke to you? Uh, she did. What did she say? That uh, I, I was born to lift a curse, to kill a metal demon. How, Aloy? How? I, I don't know yet. Um, but she told me where to go to find out. And you will do this? It was her wish. What she made me for. Yes, I will do it. I'll uh, try anyway. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy, anointed, anointed of, of the Nora. Nora. All, All praise, praise Aloy, Aloy no, no, anointed no, no, of the Nora. All praise Aloy, anointed of the Nora. First you shun me, now this. I will not be worshipped. I'm not your anointed. I don't belong to you. There's a whole world beyond your borders, whole tribes of people just as good as you, and it is all in danger. It's a world worth fighting for, not just here, everywhere. How can we help? If you can fight and you're willing, go to Meridian and wait for me there. As Aloy says, so it shall be. Nora, make way for Aloy, way. that she may forge the path for others to follow. Even Resh went along. Aloy, how kind of you to spend a moment with me before you depart. There can be no doubt now. You are a blessing made flesh, the will of the goddess incarnate. It's really not that simple, Tirsa, but I guess it's close enough. I know the path ahead will be dangerous. To kill a metal devil sounds impossible, but I believe in you. Uh... Thank you. The Nora have suffered terrible losses, Tirsa. What's to become of them now? That will be for the goddess to decide. Only she knows the future. For the moment, my sister matriarchs and I will see to the wounded. And as I promised, anyone who wishes to join you at Meridian, we will declare seekers. I think for the time being, we should remain here in the mountain, close to the goddess. Um, that might be best. If nothing else, it's a defensible position. Yep. Tirsa, I want to know Rost's story. Why he was made an outcast. He never told me, said he took an oath of silence. What did he do? Oh. Yes, that. What crime did he commit? I will tell you if you wish. But it is a long story. Yeah. Are you sure you want yeah. to hear it Yeah, now? go ahead. Of course I want to hear it. Tell me. Rost never committed any crime. He was an outcast by choice. What? What do you mean? Many years ago before the derangement, before the Red Raids. A band of murderous outlanders, twelve in number, struck without warning. At Mother's Vigil they took hostages, and then pressed on, headed for Devil's Thirst. Mother's Vigil? Where's that? You would know it as the Forsaken Village, near the Karja border. But at the time, many families lived there. Ross was one of them. 
His mate was killed fighting the Outlanders, and his daughter was among those taken hostage. His daughter? What, what was her name? Alana. She was just six years old. Nora Braves couldn't stop 12 Outlanders? Or rescue the hostages? It was quite impossible. We outnumbered them, but every time a Brave came within bowshot, the Outlanders killed a hostage. What did they come here to do? That was never discovered. We couldn't track closely enough to observe them. We know they camped beyond Devil's Thirst for two days. There were reports of... strange noises. And then, as suddenly as they came, the Outlanders made their way back to the border and disappeared. What happened to Rost's daughter? She was... killed? Rost was one of the Braves who tracked the Outlanders, keeping his distance. There were six hostages still alive when they reached the border. Alana among them. Rather than release them, the Outlanders slit their throats and left the corpses just across the border, mocking us. Why? Cruelty. They knew the faithful Nora would not leave the sacred land to collect the bodies, let alone pursue them. They thought themselves safe from our vengeance. Yeah. Are you saying that Rost went after them? That he became an exile? No. Rost was beside himself with grief, but even so, he would never have broken taboo. Then what did he do? He called upon the most terrible and secret rite of the Nora tribe. He begged to be made a Death Seeker. A Death Seeker? What is that? One who dies to go seeking, and in seeking, brings death to others. The ritual drags the spirit from one's body, releasing it to all mother's care. The heart beats, the mind thinks, but the spirit has moved on. I, I don't understand. Rost went after the Outlanders, but his spirit never left. It remained here with all mother. He gathered the bodies of the slain and returned them. And then he set out in pursuit, not as an exile, but a weapon of vengeance. A barbed arrow shot from a bow, never to return. But Ross did return. Yes. A full year later. And terribly wounded. He collapsed at the border of the sacred land. A hunting party came upon him. He was... delirious. In agony. By law, he should have died where he lay. But one of the hunters broke taboo, and reaching across the border, she dragged him to our side. Who was she? A brave who'd lost a mate and two sons to the very outlanders that Rost pursued. So Rost never finished his mission? To the contrary, he killed all twelve. Tracked them to disparate places the world over, he said. Meridian. Ban Ur, the Claim, Utaru Land, further even into the Forbidden West. The last he killed nearly got the best of him. Wounded, he stumbled and crawled back to us, hoping to die as close to the sacred land as he could. He never expected nor asked to be dragged across the border and nursed back to health. That was done to him leaving us, the Matriarchs, in a difficult position. Why couldn't you just welcome him back? Rost had been made a Death Seeker, Aloy. He no longer had any place among the tribe. By law, he should have been driven back out. But we couldn't bring ourselves to do that, so we 
offered a compromise. You made him an outcast? Yes. We offered to do so, on the condition he never speak to anyone of this... exception. After all he did, all he suffered, to be declared an outcast was his reward. Rost was overjoyed. He never expected to live another day in the sacred land, let alone the embrace so close to the goddess. He resolved to spend the rest of his days in solitude, and was happy to do so. But then you found me, and gave me to him. Yes. Another compromise. The matriarchs feared you, and would not let you be raised by the tribe. And so we turned to Rost. I knew that he would take care of you, bring you up, teach you to worship all mother and respect the ways of the tribe. He certainly tried anyway. Hmm. You took a man who'd lost his daughter and made him raise an infant girl? Doesn't that strike you as callous? I'm inclined to think the course of events has shown the wisdom of our choice. And I'm quite certain that from the moment he laid eyes on you, he saw you as a gift and never a burden. All right, dear Sadets. That's quite a story. Indeed. Quite a story. Bye bye. It's time for me to move on. I thank you for doing what you could to help me through the years and for telling me Rost's story. I wish I could have done more. But, I am just one woman. As am I. No need to sell ourselves short. Oh, thank you, Aloy. I will pray for you. Okay, I guess it can't hurt. Yep. Hello. My life has been long, but I've never seen anything like that. Tisa yeah. was right. A blessing. Not a curse. Yeah. And what about you? So unsure. Forgive, Aloy. Have you seen the Aloy? anointed? I misread the signs. Forgive. I told you, Lanzra, I'm not your anointed. The killers will be forgotten by the goddess. None yeah. of their deeds will live on. And what about Aloy. you? I don't know what to say. Don't say. Say that you'll see me at yeah. Meridian. Of course. That much is simple. But the rest complicated i know but maybe if i took you into the heart of the mountain no at least not yet i don't know please don't think less of me aloy but the goddess chose you to see that not me <sighs> right yeah bye see you in I'll meridian my way then I always knew you weren't like other Nora. Neither are you, Varl. Maybe if we survive all this, I can show you what I've learned. What I'm learning. Perhaps. Yep. If the goddess so wills it. See you in Meridian. She went into all Mother Mountain. And this is where we end our episode. Thank you for watching. If you like, please press that like button, subscribe and activate that bell notification button. And I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.